Hi. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play. Let's be through Metroid Fusion. I'm Aquatic Feline. Another episode, just the last episode, second episode. I'm hyper. Which is good, you need to be hyper for speedruns. What am I doing? What I like to do here, and in fact, I recommend this even if you're not speeding through, is just go straight up across there. And you get through here. Make sure you don't have to mess around with all that platform and gifs. Hello, energy tank. Goodbye, energy tank. So, what's up? Ouch. These ice missiles are surprisingly effective against these things. Space pirates, whatever they are. Zipedians, whatever they want to call them these days. I don't know why, how the X, you know, got to their DNA to transform into them. That, that's, that's questionable. Because, you know, that stuff's not supposed to happen. They're supposed to get, like, DNA, but uh, it's not like those things were kept on board, were they? I don't think so, so how did the X get their DNA? I don't know. Spiders! From the oh my god, it's a spider! Ah! <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Killed spider. I hate this boss. Because it likes to crawl around instead of opening its mouth. Open up your mouth. Seriously, open up your mouth. Open it. Open it. Let me fire my beam straight into it. Ew. Samus, I did you're not supposed to have a beam, you're a girl. Mine. It's okay. There we go. First form's dead. First form is the annoying form. Here comes the third form. Wait. We're just keeping the second form. Because you know second form is for screws. I really hate this boss actually. But it's relatively easy, so I shouldn't really hate it, but I do. Mostly because I hate spiders. With passion. If you're cool, you can actually keep shooting it with charge shots without it ever hitting the bottom and flipping up like that. But I'm not cool, so I can't do that. That's why I'm not speedrunning this. I'm cheating, that's what I'm doing. I'm a no good daddy cheetah! Sup, Corex? No, don't start with the sup thing again. Jeez. Like, 7 up. Ew, I hate that drink. I actually only drink water. Fun fact about me. That's why I'm an aquatic feline, because I only drink water. I can call myself aquatic feline. I don't think I ever introduced myself, well, I'm aquatic feline. If you if you were confused, well maybe you should pay attention to what the channel name is. Jeez. Space jump. Coast to coast. Woo! Just skip the auxiliary power then. Auxiliary power enabled. Navigation room. Yo dog. You need to do this stuff, okay dog? Okay. Woo. Anyway, we're actually entering one of the very hard parts of the game. One of the very hard parts of the game, that's what it's called, honest. You can look it up on Wikipedia, and it'll say, Metroid Fusion is known for having one of the very hard parts in the game. And that, of course, is this SAX encounter. <laughs> yeah, like how you jump on her head. Haha. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. You gotta be careful here, because she can kill you quite easily, but yeah, I made it through. I made it through the middle of this like a virgin, no. uh, Problem is you can't heal bef before the boss, so it's kind of difficult. To okay, don't die. I suppose you can eat those people. See, that's what you're doing. No, don't pretend like it's any different. You're eating people. That's how you heal in this game. You eat things. Because you're part Metroid, and that's what Metroids do, they eat things, and that's what you're doing, you're eating. Nom nom nom. What the hell? Whoa, crap. Can I go up? No. Haha, -ha. door attack. My door attack resets your position. These things actually do a lot of damage, but you can freeze them, and then you can blast them, and that's very effective, actually. So I recommend using that. Hit them with ice missiles. Ice missiles! Ice missiles! Okay. Of course, you get to this door and you'll be able to heal, no problem. Ouch. Nom nom nom. Now be careful when you fall here, don't fall into the plan, otherwise it's like instant death, from what I can tell. This boss also has three forms. That's counting Corex. Like, every boss has three forms counting the Corex, though, so it doesn't matter. Every boss from this- I'm really hungry. What is with me playing this game when I'm hungry? Being hungry helps my speedrunning. Like, going and having to go to the bathroom helps. Helps with speed running too, because you want to finish it faster so you can go to the bathroom. But I don't need to go to the bathroom right now, so I'm just hungry. So Keiko. Keiko. I actually had a Japanese exchange student named Keiko. She was cool. She 
fight aliens, it doesn't afraid of anything. Kinda of like what Samus is doing, fighting aliens, it doesn't afraid of anything. You can just keep shooting me with your plasma beam. Oh my god, spoilers, what the item you get is. But no, now that you're this far in the game, you start going through the missions really fast. But the nightmare mission is like the really it's like the last big one. So Woot. So I'm already way beyond halfway through. So it's okay. Oh it's oh it's okay. Corex, oh nom nom. Might as well keep shooting it for resources, just in case. I have nothing else to do. Wee Corex. I really hate these things. The beam Corex. That's my beam recovered. Beam pierces through two enemies. That was it too. What about no, it just pierces. I don't know. Can it pierce more than two enemies? I'm fairly certain I'm completely misreading things, and I need to burn. But I'm not going to. Cause I'm more mature than that. Wee! That was delicious. Now let's see. I got really quiet for some reason. I don't know why. Why would it get really quiet? Doesn't make much sense, yo. No, 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 no. Charge beam will one shot those alien bugs. Jeez. What is with the alien bugs? They're like the most cliche. Why are all aliens automatically bugs? Well, I suppose the X can take any form of any aliens on the planet and they just, they just happen to be bugs because chances are in an ecosystem there will be bug like creatures. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's like Ender's game all over again. Wait, wait, wait a second. It's been an explosion. Oh god, it's a nightmare mission. Nightmare mission's really my nightmare. I've had nightmares about it. Probably have, too. I, just, I mean, given how long I've played this game and how many nights I've dreamt, I'm sure I've had a dream about the nightmare at one point or another. Let's go. Section 5 will be way different than you remember it. Ouch. I'm talking about you, specifically. The one who's never played this game is watching. See, it's all... Destroyed. What could have happened? Must be SAX? I sure hope not. I don't know remember where I need to go, but it usually just works out. I always get lost in this place. Which is pretty bad considering it's doing a pseudo speed run. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. I hate these guys. Eat them. Eat the fishy too. Om nom nom fish. No! And they absorb and become like fish peoples. You know, I'll, you all know what I want to say, but I'm not going to. Nope. Now being underwater sucks at the moment until you get the gravity suit. That's perfectly fine with me. Oh, no, 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 that thing will become a blue fish if you don't let it. Don't ask how I know that. That's a random tidbit of information there about... Tidbit? I, I, I could just use the word tidbit? Really? Really? Up here. We'll use the boss. That's a save point. So go through here. Up here is the boss. There we go. Nom nom nom. Now there's a chance to get an energy tank and I want it. Yes. It'll help later on as well as now. Because this boss is a tough one. Come on out. I'm so screwing myself over. I don't know why I'm not fast forwarding this. Dang it! That screwed me over. Now I need to get under it. You want to get under it and get real close so you can hit it with missiles. Just spam missiles. Because it's using this gravity thing. Oh god. This gravity thing destroyed. Ouch. Come on! Keep shooting it! Keep shooting it! Don't give up, Sam is doing! Oh. I will use every missile if needed, even though that leaves me none for the core X after, I will use it on this boss. Cause destroying this uh, boss is really hard. Like really hard. In fact you want to play it safe. But you're also going to take damage no, pretty much no matter what you do, so you need to destroy it fast before it kills you. Especially considering you're at low energy tanks because you're free, cause like I wanna speedrun this for all of YouTube to see me fail. Better not die in this boss. Come on! Come on! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't know what that's supposed to do. 
I doubt power bombs actually damage it, but it'd be cool if it did. Like, really cool. Come on. Let's escape up this time. Ouch! Ouch! I'm still gonna die. I'm still gonna die. That's it, guys. It's game over, man. Game over. Oh god, I killed it! I killed it! Okay, now I need greens. Hurry up and explode. Okay. Greens. Ouch. Yellows wouldn't be bad either. The problem is when it's got the invulnerability thing going, it's... you can't get X viruses out of it. You know what? That's what Samus needs to do. She needs to go in that Pandemic movie, which I'm sure they're making another one. Um, and she can just eat the virus. However, with Plasma Beam, I believe you can shoot right through it and get a bunch of viruses at once. Ah, I'm so I got this, no problem. I can actually heal, so. Oh yeah, yeah. Gravity suit recovered. Most importantly, oh I hate you, game. But anyway, most importantly, as I was saying, um, it will reduce the damage I take. And that's possibly the most important thing you can get from here. Because moving underwater is useful, of course, but it's only really useful in a couple of areas. Do I need to go this way? Yeah, I do. Okay. Gotta kill all these fish people. I actually didn't need to kill that one, but let's go! Straight to sector four! Dang it. Don't tell me I was supposed to go that way. I was... Yeah, I was supposed to go that way. That, that's, that's mean. Why did I even try that? Okay, let's stop suck this time. Seriously? This is the worst speedrun ever, even though it's not really much of a speedrun at all, because I suck too much. Okay, that's where I need to go, and I need to go down here. I always get lost in this area, too. This area is like the one non-linear area in this entire game. That's why I get lost in it. I need to go this way, I believe, first. No, that's, that's, that's wrong. I'm supposed to go to right first, then left. I don't know. Ouch. It's gotta be careful not to die, because they will eventually wear me down. I mean, even with a gravity suit, I can't be too... I can't be too careless. I hate these things. They really throw back to Super Metroid, and only in Super Metroid they weren't immune to Plasma Beam. No, 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 no. Curses, I was right. I did need to go the other way. Like I said, um, I haven't really made it this far before, so I don't I haven't memorized as well. Well, I mean, I've made it this far before. I've, I've 100%ed this game like three times. Um, uh, but you know what I mean. Do I need to go up here? No, there's nothing over here. No point in going up there besides a giant fish. That's useless. That's useless for me. Where do I go? Crap. Is there a way to go down here? Okay, this is bad. Ow, those things hit really hard. Why do they hit really hard? Stop whining. There we go. Ah, missile tank, I'll take it. Why not? I'll swim up. You die too. Okay. Okay. I'm doing okay. Right? Wrong. Okay, I'm clearly missing something. That 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 one is where I need to go. I could have sworn. It was to the right. <sighs> At least this will kill all those enemies really easily. Be nice if they dropped a red one, you know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. What am I doing? Besides screwing it up, I'm not supposed to go this way. I'm pretty sure I'm just off the beaten path, and once I get back on the beaten path, I'll recognize it all. I mean, who beats that path anyway? It's just bad path abuse, that's what it is. Stop abusing the path. Uh, what about through here? This is where I need to go. Jeez, so obvious. Oh my god.
Uh, I'm sorry about that guys, I kind of ruined my momentum there. But this underwater area does it, even though you have the gravity suit, it still feels like. Those things can drop reds. Awesome. This is just a missile tank! I was about to say I didn't recognize this area at all. Whatever, there's a red thing in there. I would think that I could have sworn there was like a way to go down. Like here? Like right here. There is no way. What the heck? Where do I go? Hang on, I'm gonna check up here again. I think. No. Aha! This is where I I was on I was on the right path. Okay. Well, we'll just pretend I listened to myself at the very beginning, and I was supposed to go this way. Cause this way leads to the level four thing. So I'll take care of you and your baby pellet thing. Baby pellets. All the taste without the need to hunt down a baby. Rated PG-13. Oh yeah, I remember how to get through here. And jump here. Okay. I'm getting my momentum back now. Oh yeah. Security room unlocked. And I don't give you enough room to speed boost up. You can just power bomb those for supplies if you need to. It doesn't take that much time. See, it's not very difficult. This is not a very confusing place, but for me, it's all—it's always been confusing to me. Ever since I very first played the game. I oh, don't screw me. I'm screwing you soon. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Did you guys see that? I'm so cool. Kind of makes you... I mean, it probably have already stopped watching, because you're considering how badly I screwed up before. But that's okay, I'm good with that. I'm not doing this for you. No, actually, what am I doing it for then? Uh, I am doing it for you guys, sort of. I just wanted to give a different sort of perspective on how I play games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. I need to get speed boost to destroy that thing. Raw. Okay. This place is all kinds of puzzles, which don't really fit in Metroid games if you think about it. I mean, I personally think they do fit in Metroid games quite well, but there aren't many puzzles in Metroid games. I mean, I suppose in Metroid Prime, Prime there were quite a bit, but, you know, that happens. I know where I need to go now. It's okay, I know what I must do. Like, I knew those were missile blocks, even though I said those were only missile blocks, but I was wrong. Okay. Yeah, thank you. The entire room is just to make you for supplies. Give me mad dispersion missiles, the fusion missiles, whatever. I like how they kind of never explained what this upgrade did because it's a brand new upgrade. Like this is the first appearance and really the only appearance in the entire Metroid game series of the fusion missiles, and they don't explain to you what it does, like how they did all the other upgrades. So I thought that was cool. I know you're upset that I got the diffusion mis missiles even though headquarters didn't want me to, but that's... but I don't care. Okay. Sector 6, Nocturnal. Alright. Uh, yeah, blah blah blah. Once you destroy the SAX, leave immediately or what? Right? No. I believe it says don't encounter the SAX or something. I don't remember. I think you need to destroy the security miss... robot? Well, that's what you end up destroying, the security robot, but... Yeah, let's see if I remember my way to get there. I like how the ice things are still there. They don't attack you anymore, they run away. Like, oh, girl. <laughs> I don't know. I think I am supposed to go this way? No, this is wrong. Is it? If it is, that entire left wall will be destroyed. Okay, it is. Yeah, this is where I need to go. Whee! Okay, here comes the robot. Security robot? Or is that later? No.
I go this way first. Oh yeah, I have to go this way. And see this down here. Yeah, and then that annoying thing plays, and security robot. Sorry I'm not talking the greatest, I told you at the very beginning of the first episode I was not going to be talking the greatest throughout this entire thing, and hopefully you're not watching for my commentary. Because my commentary is crappy. Stop, robots! It's my good old friend the security robot. Let's see if I remember his pattern. Oh no! Missiles! This boss is not that hard. Actually, he's kind of hard. I, I like to contradict myself with him. Ow! That's why he's hard. He can actually jump and hit you from up here now. His missile attacks are no worries, though. And he can't touch the water because it's all electrified. And that bothers Sam, even though she's in a power suit, which is supposed to protect her against the environments. A little electricity. I suppose electricity would hurt you. I mean, just look at, um... The lightning thief. What? Ouch! For some reason I was reminded of Percy Jackson the Lightning Thief. I saw that movie once. And it was well worth the price I paid. Because we got it for free. Nah, it was an okay movie, I guess. I don't know. I didn't read the books. We just kind of was a spur of the moment thing. Because my dad got some free tickets from work. So he took me and my brother. And we went and saw Percy Jackson the Lightning Thief. That's what this thing is, Percy Jackson. Curse you, Peter Jackson. Curse you. So, that story was supposed to last for this battle, and I have nothing else left to say about this battle, except you need to get above it. Okay, there we go. Corex! Don't worry, you can go in the water now. Surprise! It wasn't a malfunctioning security robot. It was the X which, controlled, which took control of it, even though it was because... Oh yeah, they explained it's partially organic. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, how does X copy the DNA of non-organic stuff? Doesn't make any sense. Nom 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 nom. Wave beam. Woot. Woot. I was so excited for this when I was younger. Like wave beam is one of my favorite beams ever. No entry without authorization. Ah, it didn't stop me. Wait, Metroid Larva, Alpha Metroid, uh, Gamma Metroid, and Zeta Metroid. What's going on down there? Oh my God. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's okay, the baby Metroids are taking it out. I love you, baby Metroids. Good thing you guys could see me as your own. Probably because I had sex with a, a father Metroid and I gave birth to you all. Same as his part Metroid Queen. That'd be cool. Plot twist! I'm going to talk now. Because I'm Samus. Yeah. Anytime I talk, fans hate my portrayal in the game. Okay, let's go up here. Yeah, shut up. The real Adam's dead. Let's look at Metroid Other M. I think there's a shortcut. No, there's an energy tank. It's tempting to get, actually. I don't know why I want to get it. I'm, I'm set already. But I want that energy tank. No, the fuse missiles aren't that bad because they freeze everything on the screen. They don't get enough say in things a lot of the times. Like, a lot of people don't use them, including me, but they're not bad. So, give them a shot every now and then. Hi! Oh god, this. I hate this part. It destroy yellow peoples. Come on! What the? Or I'll screw it up, even though I didn't think it was impossible. The only way to destroy them is like hit them in the back. I believe. Put two charge shots, take them out, and fight the other one now. Come on. Thank you. Now I believe you can go up here. Right? This way it leads to Ridley? Oh, no, no. Down here, because we are going to Ridley. Believe it or not. No, actually, use a diffusion missile here. 
freeze the turtles. Not a good that did. It's Ridley, believe it or not. It's cartoon Ridley. Toon Ridley. Requires Toontown card to be in play to be used. Can only be attacked by other Toons. Bypasses all other defenses. Wait, what? <laughs> That's what I always thought of it. It looks like it's Toon Ridley for all those who played Yu-Gi-Oh! before. It's actually like a really easy boss. He's gonna... You're just gonna take your missiles and you're gonna like them. Actually, I should be focusing on beam because I need missiles for the Korax after. It's Ridley! I'm gonna cry now! It's a black elf I try to save me, but I'll get him killed because I'm weak! I can't believe I just said some black guy in the OP! I need mean, to be a racist, that's what he is! Hey, he survived. I kinda did it the wrong way, because usually... Hey! Even Africans, Amer Americans, as they are properly supposed to be called, agree that the black person in horror type game games and movies usually dies first. Okay? But he's like the only one who survived. Besides Samus, of course. So, that's, that's pretty cool. It's a cliche. That should not be in there. That and the comic relief. I don't know. I like the comic relief. I'd be considered comic relief, wouldn't I? No, I'd not be considered comic relief. I'm not nearly funny enough. I'm the first to admit that. I would not make a good comic relief character. Come on! Ooh. I believe I just screwed myself through this wall. Just like in real life. No. Oh, it's missiles. At least the fusion missiles, you can clear it slightly faster. Only faster if you have turbo, though. Screw yourself through the floor, that's right. Hi! Told you I'd be screwing you guys soon. Because I'm screwing everything. This is taking way too long, though. I'm, like, really screwed up the second half of this. I was really slow. I'm beginning to have regrets about doing this whole thing. So, if anyone liked this, please let me know. And maybe I'll do it again with another game. Hopefully I'll, like, talk better by then. For those who don't understand, those are Metroid cocoons. For those who played the second game. Like, I'm pretty sure we'll see others. Awesome, I like how you can screw right through these platforms. Let's clearly throw throwback to some game, I don't know which one. Probably Metroid... 3? Yes, probably Super Metroid. Lava! Doesn't hurt. Wait, lava is where I need to go. There's a shortcut back here. Back through here. You go through the lava, and you go up we are. And voila, more Metroid cocoons. Clearly a Metroid is getting bigger and bigger. But why? I guess I will go ahead and take my recharge. That's foreshadowing until later, because the live boss is going to make a Metroid. What do you mean you're holding me in here until the Federation arrives? What do you mean you want to study SAX? That's madness! Madness! This is Metroid Fusion! Oh my god! Ah! Okay, shut up. Oh wait, now you're holding me in. And yeah, robots secretly add them, because it's... Nah, they're putting military minds into our machines these days. Just like real life. I'm okay, can I go now? What? Samus's realization. That's too girly. She needs to be more like a man, even though she's a girl. Instead of embracing her feminist her feminine side, she needs to be manly like me. Yes. Final mission. Finally. I can end this once and for all. And all the peop all the children will be happy and saved. Th yes. What do you mean that's the wrong way? I don't know where I'm going, so I can't end this once and for all. I was going to try to save the ducklings again, but you can't ever go back there. Well, you might be able to go back there after you beat the game, I'm not sure. But you can't go back there right now, you cannot save the ducklings. The ducklings are back on the ship. Operations deck. Kaboom! Hello? Oh yeah, you need to go up to this one. Kaboom! Here comes SAX, oh my god! She's super hard! Or it's super hard, I should say. This is such a hard boss. How will I ever defeat it? Ouch! I like how you, you can screw your yourself. <laughs> you can screw yourself by screwing into her. Damn, it's like screwing herself. I want some fan fiction of that. <sighs> okay, not really. I don't. No, not really. Oh my god! What am I even saying? Are you dead now, Samus? And for my luck, someone would probably send me some fanfiction of just two 
<laughs> two screw attacks bumping into each other and like she's screwing herself aquatic feline now she turns into this monster and dies in like four hits now out comes the Corex ends up being Corex too you can also screw Corexes for good stuff also when screwing you're immune to their beam so if that's needed Note, I seem to have done really well, but look how much damage I've taken. Yeah, that's how much damage she does. So be careful when fighting her. Okay, even though her pattern is same simple enough after fighting her like a million times, because I have a save state here and I fight her for fun sometimes, because it's a pretty cool boss fight. Pretty epic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it'll fly off. No, the Corex got away. No. Three minutes remaining until the ship, the place explodes like true Metroid fashion. I must escape. How? Not going that way. How am I? <sighs> Wasting time as I, as I fail with turbo. Oh my god, it's an Omega Metroid! Come on, hit me. Stop. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Stop. Ah! Getting hit makes you get knocked back and waste time, so don't do it. I also heard somewhere you could just keep shooting her and she'll get knocked back. Because this is not Metroid Queen, this is an Omega Metroid. Which you fight like three of in Metroid 2, so it's not a very impressive last boss. But just sort of a throwback type thing. Because you get your Ice Beam back, it's like, yay, I can use my Ice Beam to destroy your Omega Metroids, even though in Metroid 2, when they were first introduced, you cannot use my Ice Beam on them, you can only be hit by missiles. Yay! So that's Metroid Fusion, everyone. Thanks for watching and putting up with me. Hi, ducklings! And we get to speed through the credits. Yarrr! Let's see what my playtime is. Even though I'm pretty sure... Pl I actually think, um... Let's see, I don't know. Playtime does not take actually count speeding, like, I don't know. Hey, do there. Clear time, 1 hour and 24 minutes. No, it does not count speeding through. Well, I did doubt this took that long, in all seriousness. Yay, see you next mission. Bye, everyone. I love you. This is Aquatic Feline. Goodbye. <laughs>